Ba 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 na da da na. Hey kids, how are you? Uh, so I hope that was helpful last week that I skipped over special teams so that you could kind of understand what was going on with the flow of the game. It's just paying attention to those chains, moving the sticks, moving the chains. You hear that lingo all the time, and that's what that is. They're marching down the field, moving the chains, and you get four downs to go 10 yards. And if you get past that 10 yards, you get another four downs. So that's kind of the basics to get you um, to where you're understanding what's going on. So today I'm going to talk about special teams, kind of walk through that because um, it's important because you'll hear that referenced as well. But first, I do have a dad joke for you. So why didn't the dog want to play football? Because he was a boxer. Ah, so anyway, so let's take a look at this. These are actually the, the special teams, right? You have offense, you have defense. And then all these other teams uh, are pretty specialized and they fall into the category of special teams because they're not offense, they're not defense, they're special teams. And a kickoff team is a special team. Um, they would be considered offense at the beginning, but they kick the ball and then the other team is actually the offense and then they flip. So then they're playing defense to stop them from running it back. Okay. So obviously if you have a kickoff team, you got to have a kickoff return team right? A team that's going to then get the ball and do something with it, or it goes out of the end zone and it comes back out to the 25, at least for the pros. Okay. And then you have a punt team. So we talked about punts last week. Uh, when you, you know, there's certain times where you've got to punt the ball out of your territory and that's where they, he holds the ball and he drops it and he kicks it. That's called a punt. So he's punting that away uh, to get it out of his territory or to, to set the other team back to where they're down close to their own goal line. So if you have a punt team, you also got to have a punt return team. Okay. So there's a team on the other side that's going to either catch it or they're going to fair catch it. So this is another term. A fair catch means if the guy that's in the back um, receiving the punt if he waves his hand, he's got to make this clear. If he waves his hand, then nobody can touch him. He waves his hand, and then he gets to catch the ball without somebody slamming into him. Okay, if he doesn't do that, and if he just waits for the ball to come, if they time it right, they can come and, and tackle him and knock the ball loose. Okay, so that's why they call a fair catch, because the, the, the guy that's receiving the punt He's back there and he, everybody's coming at him. And is like, ah, oh, you know, don't, don't hit me. I just want to catch it. But he can't then run. He catches it and that's where the ball is. If he catches it without a fair catch, he can catch it and then he can run. He can try to run it back or he gets tackled, right? So, okay, so you have punt team, punt return team. And then you have a field goal team. We talked about that. It would also be basically the same team that's coming in to, uh, to kick a field goal and they also come in to kick an extra point right after they score a touchdown they get the chance to kick an extra point with a field goal they get one point for that they get three points if they kick a field goal right okay and then you got the field goal defense team of course that's another team that kind of comes on usually it's not your starters uh sometimes it is sometimes you'll have a fast guy on the end trying to run in and block the block the field goal okay so that's kind of the basics of the teams I want to talk about a few things that happen along the way. I kind of already talked to you about what a punt return looks like, but on the kickoff, there's certain things that uh, that can happen, and I'll, I'll kind of walk you through that, right? So if you've heard the term, here, let me just go ahead and erase my board and kind of show you this. Okay, so I redrew my field, okay? So... <clears throat> Uh, in the pros, and I think this has changed from time to time, but right now they kick off from the 35 yard line, right? And I had that drawn up here before I showed the guys, um, kicking the ball off. If it goes in the end zone, uh, it comes back out to the 25. Um, so I'm not going to redraw that team. The thing I want to talk about is an onside kick, because this is, uh, kind of a, uh, an interesting rule, but you're thankful it's there, especially if your team is down and they're trying to come back, there's a thing called an onside kick, okay? And what that is, the team on this side will line up to kick it off, and if, this is kind of an interesting rule on a kickoff, if the ball goes 10 yards, if it goes, okay, so they kick off from the 35, if it goes to the 45, um, these guys can then recover it. If it goes just 10 yards, they can get the ball back, and then it's their ball, 
So instead of kicking it off deep down here, this guy returns it or it comes out to the 25, you get a chance to actually get the ball back. You don't usually see that um, during the middle of the game. Occasionally people do it and they do it to surprise and then they actually get the ball back and, you know, cause this team's not ready for it. Uh, but if the ball goes 10 yards, these guys can recover it. Okay. So, so if it goes 15 yards, they can recover, right? If, as long as it goes past 10 yards. So sometimes they'll, uh, kick like a pooch kick where it goes up in the air and comes down here. They got, they can, they can recover it and get the ball back. Okay. Cause so what that does is, you know, if a team is down by a couple touchdowns, they come down and score, then they go to kick it off and they, there's not a whole lot of time left. It gives them a chance to get back in the game. They can kick the ball 10 yards and they get, they get the ball back. So as long as they recover it. So, so a lot of times what you'll see, um, on those special teams, like I said, there's usually aren't starters on special teams, but on this team over here, they have what's called the hands team. They put their guys up there. So you'll see guys that are good receivers coming here. Normally you'd have blockers here to receive the ball, but these guys will set up a, a hands team. They'll get out there and they've got good hands for when the ball goes 10 yards, it's bouncing around, they can recover it and get the ball, right? Okay. So hopefully that makes sense for, uh, for what an onside kick is. Uh, and then, so just so you know, on a punt, though, on a punt, it doesn't matter how far it goes. Um, if it goes 10 yards, goes 50 yards, uh, this team, the team that's punting it, cannot recover it unless somebody on the other team touches it. So if, if it comes down here and this guy's trying to receive it and he bobbles it and it bounces out, then they can recover it, okay? So a little bit different than the kickoff is the, the punt. They can't return it or they can't, uh, they can't recover it unless that other team touches it first, okay? So hopefully that clears that up. And let's see, I think that's about all I wanted to cover. I've talked about special teams in the previous video too, talking about what, you know, what, when you would use, utilize the punt and then when you'd kick a field goal and that sort of thing too. But I just want to talk about what the teams are. So here's what I want to leave you with. Um, let's start talking about other things like some terms that maybe you're not familiar with. So if you comment what, um, what you want some clarification on in the comments, I'll start dealing with those on, uh, on American Football Friday. So you'll have some input and you can, uh, like shotgun, what does shotgun mean? You hear that term and, and we can go over that. So anyway, go ahead and uh, comment with your questions and we'll continue this series for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.